Hey, was that um, that I have you here? Did I see Jack Wright get a, an edge block there, receiver? What do you think of those receivers and the their blocking uh, in, in what they can do in that part of the game? Um, I think they do really well at it. I think, you know, Jack Wright on that block, he blocked two guys on the edge, and they kind of just set me loose on the going to the sideline, and then I cut it back. But, yeah, Jack and all the receivers, it's, they, they take it serious when it comes to blocking. Um, you know, it's a difference between a 12-yard gain and taking 180 yards, you know, so, yeah. Lastly, what do you think of Jack Wright's mustache? <laughs> it's it's pretty filthy. I think it's, it's pretty nasty, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. What uh, what was your focus coming into this year? What what did you feel like you needed to do in the offseason in, in order to um, be able to maybe be a bigger factor in the offense this season? Um, I think just taking the little things more serious. I think, you know, just – getting my body right. Um, one thing I did in the off season was just eating right, you know, keeping track of what I eat, um, you know, taking lifting weights serious and also just taking a coaching. I think um, that was a big thing for me this this year was just, you know, Kirk, what he's done a really good job. It just helped me out, um, kind of gaining confidence and stuff like that. So, yeah. Is that hard in the off season? Uh, you guys lose Tyler Hoosman and um you know, in the transfer portal era, you know, teams are looking to bring guys in. I'm sure you, you know, notice that UND's kind of entertaining, you know, bringing in different running backs. Is, is that difficult as an in-house guy, like, um, as you're trying to earn a spot? Um, no, I just try to keep it to myself. You know, I think just focusing on what I can do. I think that's the big thing. Um, you know, whoever they bring in, you know, whoever helps the team, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But I think just staying working, just – Keep going. That's the big thing for me. So, I mean, I think you had the the, the one big game um, earlier in your career too. I don't know if it was Western Illinois, but um, did, did you draw, you know, some level of confidence here on, on the way you were able to produce against Drake? Yeah, I think so. I think I, I think I showed the coaches that I I think I gave them confidence in myself. You know, it's tough when you have a guy like me. You know, that hasn't really played at all. Um, I think they had some questions. You know, but I think I was able to. You know, in all aspects of the game, blocking, running the ball. I think I was able to do a good job at that, but now this week against NAU, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty tough. So I think just do the same thing again this week. That's really all I can focus on. Yeah, Gavin. So besides that 79-yard run, I mean that's got to feel great to be a part of a big rushing attack like that against Drake. Just kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, yeah, it meant a lot. I think you know. I've been waiting for that for a while now, but um, it all just kind of came with all 11 guys working together just up front, you know, but when I was running the pod, I was hoping I didn't get called back or anything. It, I was just excited just to get it going for the second half, just for the team. I think that kind of kind of led a spark to the for the second half, and I think I was, just, I was just glad to be able to do that, so. Yeah, now shifting focus now to Northern Arizona. Uh, just what are you and the offense going to work on this week to kind of prepare for the Lumberjacks? Um, just like uh, Coach Schweigert said, just staying consistent, you know, just keeping all everyone into it. Um, I think that's a big thing, you know, kind of season gets long. And I think just staying mentally sharp and just ready to go, I think that's going to help our team a long way. You don't seem like a guy that is, eats too many potatoes. Is that or, or are you okay having fries from time to time? Um, I think during the season you have to, you know, to stay energized. You don't want to get too tired, but yeah, can't go wrong with some potatoes, right? Uh, um, and if they would have said, you know, if, if you didn't get to the end zone after 80 yards, would you have been able to take the next snap, snap uh, or were you at all winded after that long run? Um, honestly, I don't even think I was that winded. I think I was just too excited to even like really think about it. I think I was still running probably an extra 50 yards down the sideline after the run too, so 